I handle all types of serious financial elder abuse cases. My cases involve loss of real estate. For example, a situation where an elder unwittingly signs a quick claim deed or a grant deed which gives title to their own property to someone else. Those cases uh, may involve a person who gets a power of attorney from an elder. Many times the elder doesn't even know what they've signed and the person uses that power of attorney to go into the elder's bank accounts and investment accounts and take all their property. Other financial elder abuse cases may involve bad investment advice. And a good example of this is I've seen some financial professionals will sell elders investments that they don't need or cannot afford. In the financial elder abuse arena, it's particularly important that if a person suspects their loved one has been the victim of financial elder abuse, to contact me as soon as possible. This is important because in financial elder abuse cases, time is of the essence. We need to take timely action so that we can recover the elder's assets. The longer a person waits to contact my firm regarding a financial elder abuse case, the longer the elder abuser has to spend, transfer, or hide the assets they have properly obtained from the elder. 